Hello Cancer, this is your mid-month reading for the remainder of November, taking you guys on into December. <clears throat> Let's see, I have a Romance Angels card out here to look at at the end of the reading to see if we get a, an added message for you guys or a different message altogether. Okay, let's see. What is the energy around Cancer? Five of Pentacles. Hmm. You guys are feeling hurt. Maybe some of you have just been um, put out or you just feel, you know, rejected or by yourselves even. Um, feeling alone. This is Taurus energy. Hmm. Not a good feeling. Not a good feeling at all. <clears throat> what is crossing you guys here? It's crossing Cancer. The Knight of Swords. Who? Oh, this is this is kind of heavy energy here. The Nine of Swords, of course, is is um, feeling distraught, feeling like. You know things are not going to get better um, but of course the nine of swords is this energy of like overthinking overreacting to a situation is not real um, making things you know worse than what they actually are making them out to be worse than they actually are that's Gemini energy there a lot of you guys I, I feel um, you're going through this this period of hopelessness you know what is the underlying issue here for cancer the fool huh you know some of you feel foolish because of a situation that happened maybe you you know you put a lot of stock in a situation and you feel foolish for doing that um but another story I'm getting is that, you know, some of you just feel hopeless and you're not, you know, taking the initiative to like step out on faith and do something different. Okay. Doing something different to change your situation here. So it's like accepting defeat is what's going here for some of you. Aries energy there with the full. Let's see what was going on in the recent past. The two of swords here. Uh, at a standstill I think both you know both of you guys I feel um, either Libra Aries type energy um, and Libra and Aries are opposites but they can act similar in certain circumstances um, so I feel Libra Aries is here Gemini is here Taurus is here as well but um, this is a situation where both of you are in this together, but neither one of you in the past, you know, were making any kind of headway uh, towards each other. Both of you, I feel, are um, have basically drawn your lines and like you're on one side and they're on one side and both of you are kind of being stubborn about this situation is what I'm getting here not um, not deciding not deciding to move forward or uh, you know apart or get back together it's like you've drawn a line in the sand is what's going on here and um, I think this is all about somebody being broken up with or put out of a home whether you guys were actually the ones that were put out or whether the other person was put out but I think um, somebody's throwing a little pity party for themselves and basically throwing their hands up in the air like there's nothing that they can do about this situation I wish I had not done this or I wish I had done that um, I shouldn't have gotten involved with them just think about everything that you should not have done or they're thinking about everything that they should not have done instead of like focusing on what to do now here because this is the issue not stepping out on faith and doing something different something that you've not done before and I feel like this is like 
moving on, going forward, letting bygones be bygones, okay, and not dwelling on the past and situations, guys. Let's see what the crowning thoughts for you guys are here. Crowning thoughts for Cancer. Two of Pentacles. You have two twos here. Now, there is a decision to make. What's important to you? What do you want to do? Being decisive. Deciding what's a priority and what's not. And those things that are priorities, making sure that you devote enough time to those things in order to keep everything in balance and afloat. Because with the Two of Pentacles, you know, you have a lot going on. And to keep those things like up in the air and keep them moving along, you have to devote enough time to each of those things. So it's like making a decision about what it is that you consider a priority. What do you want in your life? Do you want to move on and have um, a productive, uh, healthy relationship? Or do you want to sit and think about what went wrong in another relationship could be the same relationship do you want to move forward with this person is this a priority for you or do you want to think about the negatives that you know you guys endured what went wrong between you because if you continue to focus on that things are gonna you know consistently go wrong is a thing because I'll say it a million times, whatever you think about, that is kind of what you manifest. Whatever you speak about is what comes back to you. So if you want good things, speak positively about what it is that you want, guys. Okay, that's Capricorn energy with the Two of Pentacles. What's coming in for Cancer? The Emperor, Aries energy. Hmm. Now, this could be your energy, but this is all about um, feeling sure of yourself, being in control of your emotions, um, not taking a whole a lot of action towards something, um, but taking just enough and then sitting back and letting um, things just happen. Okay, it's, it's like having control of yourself, not really of other things or people with the emperor here because the emperor really is the king of kings and people come to the emperor okay so i feel that you're you're gaining your strength here i do but i also feel like the person that you're dealing with is is a stubborn butt now and i feel like they are quite confident in their skill they're quite confident in themselves um they can come across a little you know, non-feeling at times, but the emperor definitely has feelings. But when they feel like they've done enough, then they've done enough is this person, okay? Let's see. How is Cancer feeling about this situation? Ace of Pentacles. Mm-hmm. You see something here. You see something here. And I feel like you guys, um, you want to work on something. You want to start something. This could definitely be a new situation, but I don't think so. I think this is you guys wanting to be there for this person and really wanting to offer something um, substantial in this situation. Or you're wanting this person to offer you something substantial. Um, I, I see that you guys want to spend time with this person. And this is not something to like you know just toss a coin at this is the ace of pentacles is the most solid and most stable new beginning there is so this is how you are viewing this situation i think you want a new start you want to do something different though is what i'm feeling <clears throat> what is the influence here for cancer the magician huh I think you guys know exactly what it is that you want but you know you're gonna have to do something completely different than what you've been doing and I think too that you know that you're gonna have to do something different okay and because you're smart, I think I think you know that it's up to you 
to to make this something very solid, stable, um, that is able to grow into the Ten of Pentacles. Either a very committed relationship or um, a very stable family life. Whatever this Ace of Pentacles means for you, if this is money, this is money, this is gaining that financial stability on your way to doing that. But I think you know that you're going to have to do something different than what you've been doing. Um, if you're thinking that things are not going to get better, you've just given up hope, you know you're going to have to change your mentality when it comes to that. You're going to have to speak good things out there. You're going to have to manifest your reality if that's what you want. And I think, you know, you're coming around to that is what this is. What I'm seeing. And stop thinking negatively. All these cards fell out. Of course, I'm not laying these down. Um, the King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Six of Swords is moving on, moving forward. You know, yeah, being hurt, but being able to put certain things aside so you can move forward and have this Ten of Chalices, this happy ending or this happy beginning. Okay? And investing. Mm-hmm. Investing your time and your energy into this. Um, I definitely see that some of you guys are wanting to have a baby. Or either you're already pregnant, some of you. Okay, we have Taurus, Pisces, um, Aquarius here as well as Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. <clears throat> what is the hopes or fears for cancer? Hopes or fears for cancer. Ten of chalices. It comes up again. Of course, your hope is to have a family. Your hope is to be like fulfilled on every level. Okay? You want the children. You want the husband. You want the wife. You want the dog and the cat. And you just want to, you know, have this happy relationship. Okay, to be happy. <clears throat> Overall outcome for cancer. Overall outcome for cancer. Oh, look at that. Brand new star. Ace of Wands. Ace of Wands. As soon as you decide what it is that you want, what it is that you truly want, and what takes priority in your life, and go for it, and speak it, and be about it, hey, Ace of Wands here. You have the Ace of Pentacles down here. But you guys gotta make this shit happen with that Gemini energy. Use your power of manifestation and get what it is that you deserve. Do not sit and mope. Do not sit and feel like, you know, nothing's gonna get better or they did this to me. Um, or, you know, I feel hurt that I allowed myself to go through this situation or whatever. It is what it is, guys, okay? And we all end up hurt. And we all, at some point, you know, but if, if there's something here that happened that you guys feel like you cannot get over, then it's time to let that go and move on and move forward because it could definitely be somebody else out there for you. There could be a total new start for you with an extremely happy ending or beginning for you. Look at this new beginning. So either way, Either way, this right here has to end, though. This right here, this has to end, guys. That has to end, okay? Speak positivity into your life. Let's see what the Romance Angels has to say. Separation, time apart from your partner, is on the horizon. Some of you guys need to take some time to yourselves to figure out what it is that you really, really want. And that requires clearing your energy. Okay, so that is what I have for you guys, and um, I will be speaking with you soon. Bye now.